The news generally was good for crime numbers in the state's largest city. With few exceptions across the board, violent crime and property crime were down in 2018. I, I am pleased. Um, we're seeing a downward trend. You know, we're down uh, 3% overall, part one crimes. Um, th that's great for the city. Obviously, do we want to be better than that? Of course we do. Total violent crime is down 9%, with forcible rape and burglary taking the biggest drops in those two categories. There were three more homicides in 2018 compared to 2017, but police say they have made arrests in four of those cases. Larceny, crimes like shoplifting and purse snatching, was up 6% and is by far the largest number of reported crimes with more than 2,400 cases. Police say that number also includes motor vehicle thefts, and there's a pretty simple cure for that. It's a crime of opportunity. We'll see people going through parking lots and checking door handles on cars. Uh, it's not necessarily that they're smashing out windows, but they're just checking door handles. If the car's unlocked, they're going in the car, they're rummaging through the car, and they're taking whatever they can. Overdose numbers are also down, but Chief Capano would not make a connection to the overall drop in crime. This is actually our Guatemalan dark chocolate. Richard Tango Lowry has owned the Dancing Lion Chocolate Shop for more than seven years. He's encouraged by the numbers and sees a real change. People see the police, the police come in and, and chat with the business owners and they chat with the people on the street and they walk people across the crosswalks. And that presence, I think, really makes for a city that, that feels good to people who are visiting and feels comfortable for them. Manchester police say that also many vehicles are stolen during the winter because people leave them unlocked while they're warming them up. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.